It's a step further in the onslaught on Hudaydah. Saudi-led coalition forces have stormed the city's airport. Before the assault, explosions were heard as the military alliance bombarded Houthi rebel positions. A resident said forces stormed the airport south of the city after fierce battles broke out early in the morning. On Monday, the United Arab Emirates, a key coalition member, called for unconditional Houthi withdrawal from the port city after UN-brokered efforts to negotiate a ceasefire collapsed. There's no use of you fighting this fight because you will lose. This is an opportunity for you to withdraw unconditionally. The UAE launched their offensive on Hudaydah in an effort to break the stalemate between Gulf Arab states and the Houthis they see as a proxy for regional rival Iran. The Houthis have controlled Hudaydah since 2014, when they drove the internationally recognized government out of the capital Sana'a and seized large swathes of the country. The Saudis and their allies intervened on the government's side in March 2015. Hudeda is a crucial Houthi supply line to their bastion in the capital. But it's not just the Houthis who rely on the port. 70% of Yemen's imports come through Hudeda, including crucial shipments of international aid amid what the UN has called the world's worst humanitarian crisis. Rights groups fear a shutdown of the port could result in starvation for millions of struggling Yemenis. I emphasize my grave worry uh, regarding the Saudi and Emirati-led coalition's ongoing attacks in Hodeida, which could uh, result in enormous civilian casualties. The UAE says its offensive is being carefully calculated to avoid worsening the humanitarian crisis by forcing the rebels to withdraw without shutting down the port.